So I was in Florida the other weekend and it is fully open. However, you still have to wear a mask. Uh, you wear it for maybe 30 seconds at a time, maybe one minute just to like say get to a table in a restaurant. I was hoping that I could grow a longer beard and have one in the summer. Apparently it's just not gonna happen the way that I think it would be, which would be completely no masks. When it's humid and hot and you have a long beard, the mask just presses in like a like a like the worst styling you can ever do to your beard. So I decided as soon as I would get back, I would trim it up to about the point of where all the dent is of what happens from the mask. Put up a picture of what it looked like after like just about like a minute after wearing a mask and I was constantly trying to fix it. It was not worth it and it just didn't look good ever, no matter what I did. And since it was so humid, it wouldn't really cooperate even if I did fix it. So let's uh, do a walkthrough of my trimming phase and that's why I trimmed, but here we go. Okay, so the, fir so the first thing I'm doing here is I am trimming up the sideburns or the whole side of my jaw. And as you know from my video on Beard Brand, the last one, I say that it should just be going up all the way. A lot of people have actually misinterpreted that video, me saying you're supposed to have sideburns. It's not about having long sideburns. It's about having sideburns that are the same length as the hair on the corner of the jaw. Big misinterpretation there. I thought I was clear, but as you were seeing, I just went straight up. I just cleaned it up. The f Everything I'm doing here is very minuscule amount of cutting. But what I'm doing is I'm just doing the the big chunks, like just some generalized trimming. And uh, right here, as you see, I'm going straight back. See the front of the comb isn't actually touching my face, but the corner is by my ear. It's actually, if you look at me, it's, uh, it's going straight back, not at an angle. I'm not trimming this way, it's straight. So it's a lot longer in the front. Same goes here down in the corner. Um, I take my time every time I trim the corner down there uh, because it, I just have so many cowlicks. I might as well just go slow. I mean, the whole process, what I'm doing is like a three stage process. I never ever rush this. I, I'd rather just take my time and, you know, get it right. Um, and in this particular case, I'm not trimming it like I normally would. I would normally just go right in with buzzers, um, but <clears throat> I kind of wanted to keep it a little bit longer than I normally do, which uh, is what it's at right now. So uh, as you can see, I am taking that sideburn and I'm trimming up, I'm cutting about half of it off, uh, but I'm making sure that it's again in line with how long it is down here on the corner. Um, so. And then I get to the little gobbler area and that I'm just, again, I'm getting rid of those little wispy tails first. Uh, I'm going to go back with some buzzers on this, but first things first is to get rid of just like those big chunks of really weird growth. Um, and also I'm just experimenting. I'm just kind of feeling it out like, oh, how much do I want to cut off? I'm not, not too sure. You'll see me go back to the spots a few times. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to just get a feel for it this whole round, large moves and just sense it out. And it's interesting what this, what I'm doing here with that cheek move that really, really gives a lot more of a, a structured manly, uh, shape in your beard when it's a lot tighter towards the back than it is towards the front. Uh, when, when it's even right there close by the mustache as the same as length as like say by the sideburns uh, it, it makes your face kind of look round at least mine so um, i try to keep that area a little longer up front and as you can see here i'm just kind of cleaning up that cheeks area everything that's you know on the side of my face um, and i'm being really careful to avoid my mustache but it is difficult as you can see and this whole thing here is, see I'm hooking up under my mustache. I'm exploring all of those hairs that are under the mustache. Um, and I'll do it to the other side as well, because I like to keep a, I, I never like to touch the mustache base for the most part, but if I can clean up the hairs even under where the mustache lies and makes that a little shorter, then it makes the mustache stand out and look 
look like like a cartoon like it's like a perfect mustache and it's not because i made the mustache perfect it's because i got rid of the hair underneath the corner uh here i'm just kind of touching up the front um just getting rid of like all these like crazy stray hairs uh, because again the front i want that the heaviest out of uh, for my face and my style that i like i think the chin area right in the front the front of the chin should be longest here again i'm just longest that would like barely cut anything if i moved around but what i'm doing is getting rid of like the very long 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 hairs there ones that might have missed because at this point i found the confidence that to know which clip guard i had um that i needed to trim safely so this is like stage two where i'm really really just uh you know, uh, cleaning cleaning up. So as you can see, that I'm going forward and I know that the length, I'm not really taking off too much here. Uh, I'm just like evening out everything I was just doing. Cause I kind of have found the length. This is about the length that's at. Now this is an important thing. What you can't see here is that I'm looking dead on to the mirror and I am shaping straight in with that buzzer. And I'm also kind of making it look like a stop sign. So you'll see straight in and then straight at corners, like the oct like an octagon, I think it's octagon. And then there, I'll show you from the other side. Uh, so there's that corner. I'm just going right in that corner, straight in. And I'm only cutting off like mil millimeters, but it adds up. And, and then here I'll get right there. See how it's like kind of furry back there? And I'm cleaning that up. And it's gonna be kind of a, like an edging of it, like if it was a hedge. Again, more of the stop sign trimming, making it all nice and clean. And this is actually taking off a lot, even though it's like a millimeter, each little pass is just really, really cleaning it up. And then same deal, but now instead of a clip guard, I'm using the, the comb. So it's like scissor over comb, but when you're doing things yourself, you only have one hand, trying to do both sides. I found that a buzzer and a, a comb really just gives me a little bit more control to clean up everything and make it that much more perfect. It is tedious. The whole process of exploring to where you want to find your length is tedious and you'll find new things. You're like, oh, I didn't like that. That was too long. So here's a good example. I realized that the whole bottom part was way too long. You can see me totally go ham at that like I'm just like oh crap that was really long and uh the same with a the goblet there it's like totally missed it but it's all that hair closest to the neck that's under the beard so I'm really really cleaning that up and again remember I have cowlicks so I'm taking that really easy um but I usually just press it against the neck and uh and that usually reveals the longest crazy hairs same thing I was doing in stage one, just kind of cleaning it up. And as you can see, I'm not wrapping my face with the comb. It's the same concept in the Beard Brand video, straight up and down the whole way, straight up, straight up and down. I'm shaping my face with the hair. Um, kind of do this all over, uh, but if my face is round, but I cut it straight, then it lays like as if I have this super chiseled jaw and I have a face of Superman. So I really kind of trim it as if I have a perfect jawline. Um, and then now the third phase where I start to use my hands and I go by feel. So I know it looks right everywhere, but there's a lot of hidden pieces I've missed and hidden lengths that are offset like one side to the other. It's really difficult as you if you've ever tried to get both sides the same when you really can only reach your right handed or something you can't do it ambidextrous like so i feel it out and i go by feel and you'll see it looks like i'm not even cutting the hairs but i am from my angle it's these ones that i feel that are sticking out like crazy and um it ends up being really perfect and uh so you'll see me tr look and, and inspect the mustache. And what I do, I lift it upwards. I trim upwards if I ever do. 
like a thatch roof, so it's shorter on the top than it would be on the bottom. But as you can see, there's not really any long crazy hairs, so I just ignore it and move on. Um, but that's usually what I would do if I were to clean up the mustache. Um, now, again, checking both sides, just, yep, I felt a long piece. You can see it right there. And I never would have caught that. It's just that I'm really feeling it out and, you know, same with the corner. This, those flyaways are crazy on me. Like I have the worst jaw, so I have to really, really be careful there. And I'll find like one, sometimes one hair or like a clump like that. It's like, boom. You can notice that um, I really am not cutting off that much, but it just doesn't look like it. Like you would figure I would go right in and really, really clean up everything, but it's about getting it perfect and right the first time, like only one sitting and uh, how do I say? Uh, I don't want to go back in a week and try to fix it. Like I'd rather just get it, just spend like 20 minutes uh, to get the whole process over with. Right here, I'm pulling out and I usually end up with like one or two like really long mustache hairs. Um, see, even literal, literally one hair there, that's all I'm getting. It's just like a split end of the longest part of the corners, yep. This happens over and over and you go through each corner of the beard, you just kind of feel it and compare it to the other side of your face and uh, you end up really finding a lot, like it's crazy. Like I went over this twice already, once with buzzers and one more major chipping and yeah, this is it, I'm just brushing it through and because there is that dent from the whole Florida trip, you can see it like permanently in there, that wave on my chin. Um, I do end up washing it and going over and testing it and that's where I'm at today. Because it wasn't so long, there's not so much pressed on it. Um, I got to be able to roll it out with a hairdryer and everything and it's not as humid here. So it's pretty much gone away. Um, I have put on a mask since and it's, it still might be a little long for wearing a mask, but I'm gonna try to see if I can find a different mask that's a little longer in the jaw. But uh, for the most part, this is, this is a few things that I do when I trim my beard, but it's definitely not like my beard trim tutorial for say short beards. This is just a con conceptual walk through of a whole bunch of things that I do if I'm not totally sure when or where I want to go with my beard trim. I just want to clean it up. Um, I actually, in this, I probably cut off about an inch. It looks like about an inch to an inch and a half, believe it or not. It was just a little bit here and a little bit there. And uh, I am super psyched about how long I've kept it. I think it's a nice shape because again, I was doing this really boxy cut. Everything was very like as if I was like straight. I never wrapped my face with a comb or the buzzers. It was all straight, perfect. Like a, like a stop sign for the outline. And then on the this part, it was straight up and down the whole way. And then I didn't touch the mustache. And then underneath the mustache, right under the corners where it goes out, I, uh, I trimmed that up nice and shorter than the mustache that would be. So it kind of has this outline. Yeah, I hope you liked this video and until next time, cheers.